Yeah, Gerald, Jarba. So the local church, we're talking about Hope Lutheran Church out of Wake Forest. They provided a hot meal to anyone who wanted it. I want to set the scene for you here in the Headingham community. You can see these candles lit and a bouquet of flowers. We're seeing a lot of neighbors actually come by to drop this off. It's the a sign that these neighbors are taking their first steps towards healing. Making a difference to a community in need. Volunteers with Hope Lutheran Church hosted a community feeding in the neighborhood where tragedy broke. We just want to let people know that God loves them, and that's what we're here to tell them. David Critchley tells me the church launched a disaster response team to provide aid after storms or fires. In this case, food and fellowship following a mass shooting. It's hard. You know, it always seems to happen somewhere else, but... It's here. Henningham neighbors moved by the heartfelt gesture. Just to be able to have the church to come out here to be a beacon of light and um, to pray with us and, you know, feed, feed the people. It's very important. Crisis trained chaplains with the Billy Graham Rapid Response Team made an appearance and organizers brought in Solomon, a precious golden retriever, to bring comfort. When, you know, people are just going out into communities and doing things just out of the goodness of their hearts. I'm back here live tonight. I'm actually looking at these bouquet of flowers. I'm looking at one of the cards. It reads, thinking of you. So definitely a lot of strong emotions here. Tomorrow there is a planned uh, vigil memorial at the local uh, clubhouse at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Back to you. Well,